The gum, um, the lozenge, and the inhaler might be a bit easier to use because you can actually schedule these products and use them just before you'd normally have a cigarette. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes so sense. So that might be a bit easier for so you. So then it kind of is preventative for cravings and things like that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So if you know that you have a cigarette at 8 in the morning and at uh, 10 in the morning and at mm -hmm. 12, you could actually start to use the gum or, or use a lozenge or even puff on the inhaler. Mm -hmm. You could start using it a, about a half an hour ahead, about 7.30, 9.30, mm -hmm. 11.30. This gives you enough time to build up your nicotine levels in mm -hmm. your system and at the time you'd normally have a cigarette, you already mm -hmm. have enough nicotine on board. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not certain about the gum, because not everyone likes gum, mm -hmm. um, there's also the lozenge and the inhaler. Right. Now, the lozenge actually delivers a little more nicotine than the gum does. Okay. Not a lot, but just a little bit more because you're not chewing or biting and, and chewing to release the nicotine. Right. You're um, dissolving the lozenge in your mouth. Right. And that, you, since so you dissolve... So sort of steady nicotine from that. Okay. Exactly. And it's complete release of the nicotine from okay. the product. So you get a little bit more nicotine with the lozenge. Usually it's the same sort of, of thing. You, you pop a lozenge in your mouth, you move mm -hmm. it around. Same requirements when it comes to water. What about the inhaler? I've heard people talking about these inhaler things lately and, and I didn't really know anything about them from... The inhaler is a plastic wand. It's about mm -hmm. two and a half to three inches long. Okay. It comes apart and you can insert an, a cartridge, an, a nicotine cartridge into the center, snap it together. Okay. Um, then you just puff on the inhaler just as you would puff on a, on a, a cigarette. Right. Now there are some advantages and disadvantages to the inhaler. Um, a lot of individuals find it really hard to know what they're going to do with their hands. You know, they, right. they've got the clean nicotine yeah. on board, but I'm used to having a cigarette in my hands and what yeah. am I going to do with them? So the inhaler solves that problem for them. It gives them something to hold on to. Yeah, that makes sense. So that makes, that's a little bit easier. Yeah. But that's also a disadvantage because yeah. holding on to that cigarette is also a habit that we want to break. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the reasons why I think I prefer the patch and the oral products mm -hmm. um, before the inhaler. As I said before, nothing but water. Um, if you mm -hmm. take a deep puff or inhale deeply off the mm -hmm. inhaler, you can get a head rush off of that. So we usually recommend you know, light um, right. puffs initially until you can judge okay. um, how to use the product. The other trick with nicotine is that, um, you know, everybody I know who, who smokes a cup of coffee and a cigarette, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Everyone, that's their, their favorite beverage when yeah. they have a cigarette. Um, unfortunately, it affects the way the gum works. Mm -hmm. It affects the way all the oral products work. So we usually recommend nothing but clear water while you're using the gum, the lozenge, mm -hmm. or the inhaler. Not only is it healthier for you, you get better absorption of the nicotine and that might actually help your tummy upset a little bit right. because okay. the, the clear water is going to help you get that nicotine where it's supposed to be and right. um, perhaps reduce some of the side effects.